Hello everybody, it is Badger Wild, and we are back with another Space Engineers ship video where I review a ship. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> We're just going to roll with it right now. Because this is a really cool ship that I, I'm on right now, and it is huge. Uh, let's pull up here, and I believe this is, yes, this is the DI, DAI Bowhead. Author is Renegade Bundy. You've probably seen him in some of the live streams talking. Well, he sent this to us, and there's a live stream where me and Gomer do where we check this thing out. Basically using almost all of the DLC, so just remember that when you're getting it. Uh, number of blocks is 9,704 type large. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a big boy. I'm going to go up here and give this thing a like. And we're going to get started. So, checking this bad boy out. We are here on the bridge. And a really good bridge. I'm not going to lie. Uh, everything's spaced out. You can get the... Some of my bridges, they end up... They're really hard to get around. You have this nice cockpit here. We're going to hop in. And we're going to just kind of... Tilt this thing slightly. And tilt it back up a bit. I've got a vehicle inside the hangar because this is actually a very large dropship is what this thing is. So first off, let's take this thing up a little bit. I don't want to throw the vehicle I got inside out. And we're going to take a look at the outside of this thing from inside the cockpit. You can look up here on the edges. You can see the... Uh, Girder blocks or the beam blocks reinforcing this thing, making it look like it's reinforced with all the engines inside in between the two nacelles. And uh, the nacelles, uh, holy crap, man. I mean, <laughs> dude, you, 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 Bundy, you did a very good job on this thing, I, I have to admit. We've got the engine cluster back here. And this is kind of cool because the engine cluster doesn't have a symmetrical, it has more of a symmetrical look than an asymmetrical look uh, when it comes together. But each pod looks very asymmetrical in its own right. So it's it's not a total match, the upper area. Just the using the beam blocks there to add all that extra detail. And it doesn't stop there because we've got this giant door here. Then we have this bottom here that just looks amazing. With all these blocks interceding and working on top of each other with different textures and different paints. You can even see the way the blocks are... Uh, interlacing on the sides here. Very cool detail ideas. Uh, I'm going to say this right now, Bundy, I am stealing a lot of your ship stuff, so you just might as well get ready to see it because it's got some good ideas. Anyway, let's take this thing down. We're going to try and land this very gently here. on the ground because one one I don't want to damage this thing because it just looks so cool but the other thing is I don't want to jostle a vehicle I have in there I have a modified bobcat inside this vehicle or inside this ship and I don't want to send it flying so we're gonna take this sucker down and just let it land once it hits the ground here Get a yellow contact here. All right, and we are in contact. So hitting tab, we can see here, I did add number four because there was not a lock, uh, a lock and unlock mechanism. That's actually very easy to do on a ship like this. Uh, simply put, just for y'all, if you want to see how to do it, you go in, you get your landing gear you want to use I can find it here should be magnetic plate where'd you go all right where is it all right here it is so when you want to do a magnetic plate that turns off and on a simple thing you do is you just turn off auto locking then as you hit the on off button it will shift back and forth but hopping out of there we get we did all that was there anything else i missed oh yeah we can open the door we can uh also open the off ramp on there we're gonna do that when we get inside the actual hangar number one locks something i'm not sure what it locks 
I, I have explored this thing, but I haven't found where that landing gear locks. You also have these extra areas if you want to add some guns or do some other things to the ship. Add some other operation systems in here. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to start heading to the ship. And this is, like I said, this is the bridge. We're going to start in immediately on heading to the other side here. And I'm going to probably click on my lights ever so often. Because it gets dark in this ship. So heading on through here. We have the first room. And that is one I'm going to need the lights for. And this is the cryo slash medical room. And it's not bad. I mean, this is nice and big. It's open. Like I said, it's a big ship. It's got a lot of open areas. And it, it's interesting to see a ship designed like this because normally I build my ships. They're fairly compact when I build them. But to each their own. I mean, this is not... This is actually a really good way of doing your open plan design. And it makes it feel more open, less claustrophobic, which is nice to have. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's, it's nice to have a ship that doesn't feel claustrophobic in space engineers. But you have your medical bay here. You've got, it appears to be eight cryopods. You can bring in about eight soldiers. I think this is a drop ship and how it's designed and how it's supposed to operate. And you got a cargo container here that I think will run all over the place. You can pretty much run to every other area of the ship. So moving on, <clears throat> as we go through here, I'm just going to keep my lights on so we can see everything. Moving on, and we're going to go through one side of the ship because both sides are mirrored. So what you see on this side is what you're going to get on the other end. We have our first door. We shut that, and then we have a ladder here, which takes us up to the bridge and down to this lower level. been so long since I've used doors. Anywho, we have uh, this block here that you can open up and inside the bay here we have oh whoa yeah the uh, yeah the bobcat kind of got thrown around. This is a modified version of the bobcat probably going to become the bobcat eventually but we're going to use that here in just a minute. It's, it's here for demonstration purposes but until we get to there this is an observation deck so you can walk in here and look around check everything out. I don't have a means of locking that down so probably you're going to have to put a locking mechanism on the vehicles themselves. But anyway, moving on, moving on. We have entrance to the hangar bay area. We're not going to head there just yet because we're going to open this up and we're going to check over here. We have a bay that opens up into the room and you can look out the multiple, multiple observation bays, which makes this just a very interesting uh, dropship design. And that's what it is. It's basically a dropship. It has uh, hyperspace capabilities, so you can jump anywhere you want to go. Also, like these tubes right here. <laughs> I don't know how you made them all shiny like that, but that's just awesome. Like I said, uh, we can put the we can put this thing in here. We can put a couple of healers. Hell, we could probably even stick the mastiff in here if we wanted as big as that monster is. Load some other vehicles in there. Give them some stuff to load them down. Also, we've got a nice vent here. This is an interesting way of hiding vents. Uh, on top of another vent so they're not in the way and they don't they're just not obvious i like this i like how the ship has everything you need it doesn't it's not out there obvious but it's there so moving on through here we have this entryway which goes up one of them goes up into here and this opens to a maintenance hatch to the outside of the ship where you can come on out while the ship is docked or somewhere and or stationary and your guys can come on out and just work on the engines if they're damaged or something to that effect. No weapons on this, but I figure you probably put some point defense guns on here pretty easily. But the ship just looks amazing <laughs> in its own right. Anywho, continuing on. Continuing on. We're going to shut this door and we're going to let's see. Did I have a door I was coming to or from? Oh, yes, here's the nacelle. So this is where the nacelle is. I believe that's enough space between the engines and these tanks here so that they don't accidentally blow each other up. That's a thing you got to worry about. But uh, you can see here you've got a lot of battery storage for things. You've got plenty of piping, enough gyros to keep this thing maneuvering properly. And uh, what appears to be one, 
two, three large hydrogen tanks, which translates over to six large hydrogen tanks. So this thing's got plenty of hydrogen. It takes a long time to bleed down one of these. I think the um, the Sentinel itself can probably go two hours, constant burn, and it's got two of these. This ship has way more hydrogen thrusters, but it's got way more hydrogen sort of, and has the ability to work on its own hydrogen, probably, I'm, I'm quite certain. So continuing on, let's head on down here to this area. And this area I found really cool. Uh, no, this is not what I want to. This is not what I want to. I, I didn't want to get in the system. This is really cool because this is a refinery area with an assembler. You can see we've got two hyperdrives on here, so that's enough to launch this thing wherever we're going to go. But we've got our assembler here. I've, I've never thought about doing the assembler like this. I need to do this more often. But what I love is the way these reactors, these not reactors, man, my God, my brain right now. I love how these two refineries are set up. Um, they're set up in such a way, and I am probably, I'm going to warn Bundy right now. I am stealing this, this configuration somehow. It's not going to be exactly the same, but I am stealing it in some form or fashion because it is just too cool the way you have set this up. So I have access to just about everything here. I can work on it. But the, the really best part is right about here. I love this. I can if, if there was like a storage container here, I can access stuff while we're working. You can see we got two conveyor blocks running that up there. And if those were, and this is, I, at first I thought, you know, these are probably containers, but they're actually conveyors. And I thought, you know, these are, this is actually not a bad idea. If they were container blocks, I could access the stuff in the ship. But the way these things are just set together is amazing. Because he's kind of linked them with these uh, catwalks. So you can go in between these things and just work on them. You can also access them if you want to. Make them do all kinds of stuff. Uh, it appears it's got one, a couple, it's got four productivity mod, four mods on here. Uh, all of them yield mods. So this thing is going to yield a lot of resources, probably more than normal. And then you're going to be able to just build on this and work. And like I said, this is just an amazing way to set up this room with the hyperdrives and everything in here and then have everything that you need. Or jump drive. I don't know why I'm saying hyperdrive. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> Let's put it like that. <laughs> it's been a long day today. No anyway, way. Yeah. So everything's basically mirrored on this ship. It looks amazing. So but let's go into the hangar because I want to show off this door because this thing is just nuts. Um, Bundy Bundy created a door here that has me just looking at it, just losing my mind. I'm, I'm nerding out on it. <laughs> it's just how effective this is. I've been trying to figure out how to solve this problem for a while. So we have our bobcat here, which has just been flung across the room because I have had to try and fly it. We'll fly right up here and grab the bobcat real quick. Okay, turn off parking brake. And we're going to just back this joker here. Back it there. And we're just going to back up the... Bobcat here real quick, like. Hit the break here. Hop out, and we're going to head over here to this nice button. Now, I could have done this from the cockpit. I can do all this from the cockpit. We're going to do it from here. Uh, one, we're going to disengage the hangar lock. Button number two engages the hangar door. Which you're going to see that come out there. And so this thing just comes down and it, it drops like an actual hanger door where it just opens from the mouth and see this thing just pulling itself loose as it comes out. Then this gets all the way down like so. And then we've got one last button to push. And this is this is the part that I find just absolutely just <laughs> makes me wig out when I see it. So we, we hit this bottom one, which is the uh, exit ramp. And these doors come out here, which go forward and dig down into the ground, creating an almost perfect 
marriage between the ground and the door, so there's there's very little gap in there to screw with things. Which is absolutely cool because I love the way this is set up right here. We fly back up here to this thing. Hop in. Turn off park. And we're gonna head on out here. And there we go. The Bobcat is out. We have landed on a planet. And that giant ship right there is just having a blast just sitting there. But yeah, folks, that is that is the D DIA bowhead from Renegade Bundy. And uh yeah. Just an awesome dropship. You could probably load about five or six of these. Uh, bobcats in there and if I were to put um, some landing gear on the bobcats I can just latch them onto the sides of the vehicle of the bay and just lift it up probably even could put I believe I could also put a mining craft in there to mine stuff so the refinery could work but just an awesome all-round ship I'll be sure to put a link to it in the description y'all guys go check it out because it's actually a it's a large in charge and very big ship um, and I mean it's it's massive that, that tiny little area up there is where, well, here, I'll hop on out of here and just fly up here. You can see just how big this sucker is. Because it, it is amazing how big it is. I'm going to have to, like I said, I'm stealing some ideas, man. <laughs> you just might as well uh, deal because it's going to happen. I'm going to steal some ideas from this because this is just amazing. You see how tiny my guy is on this. By the way, folks, thank you all for watching. This is Badger Wild down there looking tiny. And stay safe, stay frosty, check out the bow head, give it a like if you enjoy it, and I will see you guys next time.